Hello. Hello, 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 hello. How's everybody doing? My wife will be here momentarily. We were running late today from the gym while the parents came to pick up her kid a little bit late. But here we are. Well, at least almost here, half, half of us. <laughs> so wait a little bit for people to come on. Say hello when you come on. Hello, everyone. Hey, Daryl. How you doing? Good evening. Happy to see you back. Hello, Jesus. Santiago. Well, anyway, welcome. Here she is. <laughs> Welcome. Today we have a very special guest. It's actually a friend of ours. I come bearing drinks. <laughs> Thank you so much. I needed that. So anyway, as I was saying, it was running from the gym. You know, sometimes the parents are running a little late. And today was a little later than than usual mm -hmm. so we almost didn't make it here on time daryl hello angelica mack hello my dear hello angelica how's everybody doing tonight um, we are happy to have you guys join us tonight for another episode of tweet talks mm -hmm. um so our guest tonight that we have on is donna singer the one and only donna singer who is a dear dear friend and i would even say closer than a friend because i've known donna for a very very long time we had donna on some time ago and i was stalking her page just recently and I see that she is coming back to New York. So I am very excited um, to, to catch one of those shows. I didn't think we would be able to because we be were supposed to. to be traveling this I'm, weekend. Yeah, I'm going to um, Massachusetts. Yes. Yeah. So it turns out that I'm not going to Massachusetts. I'm going to be, I'm staying here in New York. So I will be able to catch Donna and I'm very excited. And we have a bunch of exciting stuff to talk about with her. Uh, her her New York tour. She's coming back to to the Catskills and for a short time to do some performances. So if you appear close to here, make sure that you catch her. Yes, we'll be sure to drop all of that information for day. you guys to, mm. to to catch her show. We're going to be talking about family. And there's, and, a, there's a page also that she has that you yeah. can go in there and see the um, the dates which is going to be performing actually i think if i post it it'll be easier it's, yeah it, this is a one-stop shop you watch the show you get the information yes indeed let me see <laughs> not not yet not yet but uh, we will get there okay okay so Barry Crawford. Oh, we have a comment before we even bring our guests in. Barry Crawford says she has a sweet, wonderful husband who happens to be a great pianist. Yes. Um, yes, Donna is such a lovely singer, musician in her own right. Mm -hmm. Very dear to my heart. Very, very dear. Uh, so you took some singing lesson and you did a recording with her. I did. Yeah. And she told me, she said to me when I was recording with her, she said, you know, you're a professional recording artist now. I was like, oh, did you know that I'm a, pro I'm a professional recording artist. You guys, <laughs> I am on an actual album. So I'm very proud of myself. So I think that we should bring Donna in and, and let's chat okay. it up. Let's, let's have some fun. Let's have some fun. Yes, yes. Okay. 
Here she is. Donna yeah. Simmons. Am I here? Am I here? Oh, I am here. Hi, Pedro. Hi, Crystal. Hello. Hi, Donna. How are you? <laughs> I am absolutely amazing. Of oh course you are. I of am course you are. So, so happy to hear that. I didn't think you would say anything less. <laughs> So today with Donna, we're talking her CD that's currently out. We're talking about mm -hmm. an upcoming album that's album that's gonna drop. Family, Florida. I oh know. My. Wow. So much. Wow. I can't wait. Let's just dive right in. What's the Donna, first thing you want to talk about? Donna, when I talked to you on the phone the other day, you said yes. that you'd have been in Florida for nine years. Nine. That's Why can I left? Said you left just yesterday. That's crazy. We left in 2013. Wow. And it does seem like just yesterday until we came up for one Black History program in, yes. I believe, um, Chester. Mm -hmm. We froze our tushies off. Wow. <laughs> don't act like you don't know what it's like to be from New York, Donna. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you, you forgot already, huh? Yeah, I forgot completely. So tell us about the album that's out. Okay. Well, we are really proud of that album. It's Hello. it's called Set Your Heart Free. Mm -hmm. And it is, it is, it takes me through my childhood and your childhood. Um, um, uh, most of the songs were written by my husband, Roy Singer and Mitchell oh. Usher, who have been partners forever it seems i would say almost and you're going to hear me roy is sitting right over there is oh he eating? yell out to roy Roy, how long have you been partners 25 years, 25 years. Wow. and i just i just learned that roy and i have an anniversary august 7th mm -hmm. 8th 9th <laughs> 7 yes. for 25 years and that's blowing my mind. So no, that's our free. anniversary. How long? That, that that's our anniversary the, as well. The ninth. Our no, we yeah. didn't marry the same day we were. The ninth. The seventh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what happened was. <laughs> Wouldn't that have been awesome? Why couldn't he just agree with me? The ninth. That would have been right, so right, great. Right, right. So set your heart free is about your childhood dreams and um and just going for it and just and sometimes kids why should kids have all the fun about maybe not wanting to grow up so fast and not mm -hmm. wanting to enter adulthood so quickly it was the number one pick on the um um CNJ NPR charts when it came out and I think then after it came out it got to the top 30s and we were so proud of this album we really are do you, I should I, I think I have it if you wanted to see a picture of it but sure. um, it shows a picture yeah I'll get it I'll get it it shows a picture of me as a, a child and then me as an adult I know it's so corny it's so corny but I love it <laughs> So that album is available on what Amazon, Pandora, Spotify, iTunes. Yes, all of them and everyone. And you know what we decided with that album? You cannot get it at like Deezer or Freebies. We decided, my publicist, that it was time to enter the grown-up world. Mm -hmm. And you have to pay for the album. And we did for okay. it. Yes. Sometimes you have to stop doing it for free. That's right. That's right. But we entered the grown-up world, and um, it was—it's been great. It's been great. Then we have our newest album, which will release November fourth, called mm -hmm. "Dance Band Boogie," and that mm -hmm. was written by Roy Singer and Mitchell Usher. Oh, mm -hmm. We're so shocked, and um, <laughs> and that features my big band, the Diamond Jazz orchestra mm -hmm. and that's that's a joy and a half that that's i was with the catskill mountain swing shift orchestra for i think 15 years before i moved to florida and it wow. took me 
it took me about 12, 11 years to put it all together. And now we have a big band that follows me in Florida. Yeah, it, I know. It blows my mind. We just did a show. Wow. Yeah. So you have to come down to Florida at our next show. Our next show is November 4th. We're going to drop the big band album November 4th. Oh We're going to have a wonderful show for free. That is for free for all participants. I mean, people, customers, and people who want to come see the show November 4th. And um, we're very, very excited about it. That's cool. You know, it just sounded so surreal to me when you said the album drops. Like, we're going to drop <laughs> our album. Like, I'm just like, you're a big band. That is awesome. Yes, please. Let's go to comment from Sarah Husky. Roy, Sarah Husky. Sarah posted a comment. It says, Donna, oh, there it is. Donna is a lovely girl, and her husband, Roy, is almost like family to me. Yes, it's true. <laughs> she and She's from Kansas, where Roy is from. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your show is reaching far and wide. This is so beautiful. Oh, and yeah. uh, and uh, I met Sally at the when we went to Kansas for the Kansas City um, Kansas Jazz Festival at Bethany College. Yes, oh Roy's giving me the nod at Bethany College, and that was a that was so much fun. We brought in children who actually played for us, wow. and then we gave them feedback about their performance and some of their articulations and tonations and wonderful things. And it was, it, it was a real joy. And like I said, when I first came on, we were at the Black History Program for jazz um, during the Civil Rights Movement and teaching mm -hmm. children about the African-American artists who were, um, who were strong in the Civil Rights Movement. Well, we mm -hmm. were able to bring some of that knowledge to the kids in Kansas. Wow. And it was just, it was full circle. It was just really a wonderful full circle. Let me... Um... I'm Talk just so in, inspired right now, like, for real. I'm going to, uh, Donna, if you don't mind, I'm going to show a little bit of you performing, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. What's this? You don't, you don't know this. Oh, no. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs>
I found that someplace. Look at you cutting the band off. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. You know, I just did that song at the Boca Black Box with the Diamond Jazz Orchestra. And, and, yeah, it's just a great song. It was it was arranged by Bill Fleck, who you will see with the Bill Fleck Trio or Quartet at El uh -huh. Sombrero's on uh, Thursday. Yep. And he's phenomenal. He's a wonderful arranger. He's a wonderful player. Um, I, I, I took Bill to Switzerland with me, Italy with wow. me, Bill came to, he came to Kansas, he came to Nebraska, I mean, he's, and you're going to see him at El Sombrero's, at, um, Hector's Inn, all of them, he'll be there. Wow, Donna is so much fun to listen to, both singing and talking. She's the perfect guest. <laughs> Talented and entertaining. Thank you, Daryl. Yes, love Did it. I know Daryl. <laughs> um, no, Monticello. No, um, not Monticello. No, no, he was local ish. You knew him from like gymnastics. For stuff. gymnastics, yeah. yeah. Oh, He's wonderful, wonderful. Beyonce, now living in North Carolina. Yes. Right. And I have to say, before we move on, I just have to tell you this, Crystal. My son plays the ukulele. Really? Christopher. And he plays the galele and he plays the mini guitar, but he loves the ukulele. And he'll be here. I know he'll be here. You'll see him at El Sombrero's on Thursday. And I told oh. him, you better bring in your ukulele. So bring yours, Crystal. Bring yours. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I actually, I'm not sure. Okay, so that one's Thursday. I'm not sure if I'll make it to the Thursday one. What you doing? I'm not sure if I'll make it to the Thursday one, but Friday I will be there. Okay, fr Friday, uh, Wurzboro? Wurzboro, yes. Okay, so what I'm telling everybody, because I don't know if it's going to rain or not. I hope it doesn't. We're going to be under a gazebo. Just bring umbrellas, but I'm, I'm just encouraging everybody, get to El Sombreros because that's indoors. But hopefully, I don't know. Look, while we're when we go on break or something, look up the weather. Tell me what the weather is. I hear I hear rain a little bit in the forecast. Daryl can no. Um, Roy. <laughs> North Carolina. Oh, Daryl, um, North Carolina. We'll figure it out. But you know, we'll be under a gazebo, so we still have it, rain or shine. But just cool. make sure you bring the go. weather for Thur for Friday. <laughs> what kind of show is this? I know, just yell it out. <laughs> like for Thursday and Friday. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So mm -hmm. you, you just mentioned Christopher. Right. How are you doing? I couldn't hear you. I said, Christopher, how are you doing? All that good stuff. Is he certified in is, is he yoga now? Yes, he has 200 hours of training. And he is certified to teach yoga. And I keep telling him, go, go take a yoga class and, and the woman you'll meet will be your wife. What? Go, go take, he's a vegan too. I said, go take okay. a vegan cooking class and the woman you meet will be your wife. And then I'll have grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> There's a method to my madness. <laughs> yes, there is. You're just so selfish. <laughs> <laughs> like, just go, go meet someone. And uh, but he's wonderful. He's going to be in New York the entire time. He's wonderful. picking us up from the airport, so we do not need a car service. We do not have to rent a car. We're staying with friends, Sherma, and just friends oh, that right. that we haven't seen. I know in a long time. And um, um, I was excited to see Christopher is also taking us. We're doing another radio show. Yes. Not television with you, but a radio show in Staten Island. Island, yeah. well, but that's actually in studio. So we're actually okay. driving to Staten Island, doing a performance at one o'clock. I can't remember where, and then going to the show afterwards. But um, but we'll 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 get everything popped up and we'll put it all on their Facebook so you could find us really easily. But I think it's a marker marker um Maker Park Radio NYC. That's it, Maker Park Radio NYC, which is in Staten Island. And yeah. it's just a wonderful independent radio station that is is really, they have grown so much since the first time I was on them. Now I think I'm probably making this up, but they're on for hours now, just, just all day long now into the evening before they cut off. What does it say? Ricky, Vicky is on. 
Yes. Yay! Can't wait to see you, Vicky. Can't wait. Hey, Vicky, thank you for watching. <laughs> Claire Sullivan said there's a 60% chance of rain for Thursday. Oh, 60%. So that's at El Sombrero. So isn't El Sombrero's that's inside, right? So that's okay. What is it for Friday and Saturday? Oh, Friday and Saturday weather. Claire, if you're still on, come on, be our weather lady. <laughs> be our weather lady. That would be great. Nice performance. Thank you. That's mm, okay. Uh, let's see. What else did she? Oh, this one. Nice to listen to jazz, which is popular in coffee shops. It's just the right music for a coffee shop. Loud. It really is. It really is. And what we're finding is people also want to listen to swing. They mm -hmm. want to listen to those big band, those jazz songs for big band. Oh, that was Friday. Friday, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, so just keep that in mind, Crystal, when you're making your plans. I'm just letting everybody know we will be there rain or shine. Okay. But it just, it's just, well, I just want everybody to be prepared. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Pedro, how long have you been teaching gymnastics? Do you remember the first time I met you with, with your <laughs> gymnastics school? Yeah. When, when, uh, when I met you, you were teaching jazz. Yeah. Jazz oh my God. Jazz oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is um, that insanity? I know. And Christopher was just a little baby then. I yeah. think. It's so funny because when he told me who the jazzercise instructor was, I'm like, I know Donna. Like I know <laughs> Donna. I've known Donna for years. It was so funny. So yeah. funny. That is funny. And but Crystal, I don't think people, when you say years, you don't understand. I've known you. I looked it up. I talked to Sean. Okay. I said, Sean. <laughs> and how long? What did he say? And Sean said to me, I met Sean when I graduated in 1983. So mm -hmm. that means I met you in 1984. That's how long I've known you. I didn't add up the years, but I went to church. Um, what was the name of the church? Friendship? No, not friendship. Mission. Um, huh? Mission. 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 Mission yeah. church. Yes, Mission Church of God. Pastor Sellers yes. and Sean. Yes. I, I that's how long I've known old. you. Huh? I she was, was six. six years old. You couldn't have been. Oh my God! Yes. You were the little kid. Oh my God. Oh my God. And you have you have um you have a uh, brothers? Two brothers and a sister. Linwood yeah. Tyrone and Nina. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. That's, That's amazing. And I, I want to say because because one of one of the beaming kids would sit on my lap. And I remember that. that. Probably me. No, I don't think so. Yeah, it was you. Uh, <laughs> Is that Not amazing? Either. I I said, Sean, how when did I start going to mission? Because I was living in New York, so I only came up on weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that something? Isn't that amazing? And then Christopher was born in '91, oh. and we moved back to Liberty and Monticello. Yeah, amazing. I I tell you. New York is always going to be in our but in fact the Center for Discovery just asked us to come back in May. So we'll oh, be back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The center, we can't let them go. They're they're just their their whole philosophy and way is so wonderful mm -hmm. with you know, with their um residents. It's just yeah. they yeah. if you love jazz, oh what's Penny saying? Penny! <laughs> my classmate! Oh, make it come back. Penny, you see Hector's. He's All right, well. Penny. <laughs> well, Penny's coming to Hector's. Okay, and Hector's is in the backyard, but I'm told they have a tent up. So it should, Ooh, be, fun. It should be lots of fun in Bethel. Hector's is in Bethel. Yes. So I guess Roy's telling me down 17B. Yes. Yes. And okay. that's, a, that's a favorite. I should uh, just come to like all of them. Hector's you should. You should just come to all of them. And then sit at my table. Just sit at my table. Just, just come <laughs> well, 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 Thursday night, night I'm going to be late. Why? What's going on? We have camp, summer camp, till 7.30. Nice. Nice. Yes. That's very good. I, I'm going to be in... Um, yeah, you will be I'm in gonna be Rhode in Island. Rhode Island? You'll be in Rhode Island. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's definitely Rhode Island. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I gave you the wrong direction. You gave me the wrong... Oh, I would have been in Massachusetts. <laughs> <Right. laughs> Wait a second. Sounds like Donna and Roy. <laughs> there we go. She almost got off the air. Almost, yeah. 
my, oh wait, no, that's not the right comment. But Pi Penny, oh, yes, that is the right Penny comment. Harper. Penny's granddaughter takes gymnastics with you guys. Yep, Harper. Harper. And she is a character. Oh, is she really? Yeah, oh, she is. Saturday, that kid had a story about what she was doing for the weekend. It was so funny. Now, I was saying about Hector is um, it's a famous place because of Woodstock. Yes, yeah. that's what Roy said, because of Woodstock. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. He's, Love, he's peace, famous, and happiness. You know? And also, let me say, um, Shashin. Mm -hmm. I can't remember her maiden name. Coleman? Oh, Brewster. Mm -hmm. Brewster Coleman. Okay. Yeah. I know her, too. Made yeah. this cup. And I'm giving her a shout out. Whoa. Oh, okay. Shout out to watching. Represent and the creativity. I love it. No, that is the Liberty. That's the Liberty Drive. That's the Liberty Drive. Yeah. All in it go Indians. Yeah, go Indians. <laughs> is it still Indians? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, whoa. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That Everything is, so is controversial this day. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so, Donna, so as I mentioned at the top of the show, you guys have been in Florida for nine years. What was it like transitioning from terrible snow seasons to beautiful weather every single day? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> it was so easy. And that for the first month, we kept thinking about that Ikea commercial. Start the car. Somebody's coming to get us. They're going to take us back. Because we moved in October. Mm -hmm. which is a beautiful time to move to Florida because it's not too hot. You can still go swimming. And then I remember like January, we hit a cold spell and a woman came out of her house in a parka. And I said, <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> I was like, what is this? We're in like light sweater, you know, my Juilliard jacket. I'm like thinking I'm going to be too hot. It was so funny. We we loved it from day one. From wow. day one, we've loved it. We haven't missed New York. We miss we miss friends, of course, and family. Oh, yeah. My brother was still there before he passed away. Um, oh, my father was still in in New York before he passed away. But it, we will always come back to New York. We just always will. We, we can't we can't be without it. And the best part is there. Everybody, like, we don't have to beg someone to put jazz in their establishment. We mm -hmm. found these gigs very nicely. Now, of course, it was Donna Singer, international jazz vocalist. That always helps, too. But they, they were like, yes, come, come and be a part of us. So mm -hmm. New York is always going to. The only thing we didn't do, um, two, was it two years ago? We performed in Carnegie Hall. And this year, we're not performing anywhere in New York City. And that's really weird to us because mm. it just doesn't. I'm like, we got to get to New York. We got to get to New York City. We got to get. But next trip, next trip, we'll have it. We'll have it planned, planned out a little more for us. And you are in our lovely living room with Roy's wow. piano. What is that, a 550? A 550? The <laughs> piano. It's a grand piano. What do you mean a 550? <laughs> Someone what, said it to me. 420? What is that? Really? <laughs> so really? now I can say it all the time. Uh, don't what say it all the that? time. Say, wow, what a nice grand piano you have in back of you. It's a lovely oh, grand. You. Lovely <laughs> grand. Yeah. It's, it's, in fact, Roy plays in my shows. When we went to Paris, we renewed our vows and then had a show oh. in Paris. And Roy played their grand piano, which was a Steinway. And oh. he made it sing. It was just absolutely oh. beautiful. Yeah. And then for the last show we did with the Diamond Jazz Orchestra, Roy opened up the second act. So it's it's all in the family. And I and people are constantly asking Christopher, do you sing? Do you sing? Do you sing? And he's like, no. Do you sing? No. Do you sing? No. <laughs> I, I do not sing. Yeah, he's doing the yeah. ukulele. He's playing a bunch of stringed instruments. That's awesome. It is awesome. Let me ask you, could, uh, I don't want to put you in the spot, but could Roy go over there to the piano and do one of your little new songs? Of course. Roy, come on. <laughs> Where is it? Roy was, Roy was not paying attention. <laughs> he asked you, could you come and play? Okay. Only two, two oh. seconds. Or, or Pedro, is that what you asked? Yes. Yes, absolutely. 
Roy, hi, Roy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to sit back down. This is Roy's back. Roy, turn around and say hi to the camera. Can can you see Roy? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, hey. 25 years. Wow. 25 years. August 10th. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Let me tell him, tell him. Gershwin's third prelude for piano. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go away. so strong in our lives mm -hmm. I, I we are a team you're right it, it seems as if like i love when people say well we've been married 10 years but we've really been together for 18. and i'm like look i don't know how long we've been together i don't know how long we've been married but we're a team and and it's very important to us and music is important and the the album that's dropping roy wrote three songs on that album and i'm proud of everyone in the first one which is called Dance Band Boogie, will uh, will drop, I think she said November 4th. Yeah, mm -hmm. November 4th. We're really excited about it. Do you have a question for both of us? I'm still, you know. There's a couple of comments. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, Roy, Roy Gershwin, yeah. <laughs> That's great. That was fantastic. It was, Roy. It was so fantastic. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Good job, Roy. And uh, and Roy's here with us, and we're so we're so grateful and proud. We really are. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go back to the couch? I, I see it's, it's <laughs> 837. Are we just about uh, wrapping up, or did you have a well, few I'm, more questions? I'm going to run through your upcoming New York schedule. Okay. Um, Drop where they where people can get the album that's out now, and then it's been for nine years. Did you hear all that? No, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Good job, Roy. Look at Vicky. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Pedro. You, you are Pedro. I'm disappointed. I'm not going to see you this weekend, but we'll oh. see you in May. Oh. I'm so, I'm so happy that I now. I was certain we were done and I was so sure we were over. I thought we had each gone our way. Now, 
come back together under the stars they're shining forever lighting our way guiding our way sweet as a new Just wanted to give them a little taste. A little taste of that. That was wonderful. That was so wonderful. God bless you too. God bless what you're doing. He's so good, isn't he? Yes. Oh my gosh. Donna, we are so, so happy you could join us again. August 2022, New York Summer Concert Tour. Elsenberg Restaurant. Uh, it's Friday, August 5th at 6.30. Bring a chair, blanket, umbrella. <laughs> Center for Discovery in Monticello, Saturday, August 6th, 1 p.m. That is a private performance, but she is performing there. Backyard Jazz, Hector's Inn, join her at Hector's. Bethel, New York, August 6th at 7 p.m. And then it, on Sunday, she is in Staten Island with Don Cheech. That is on the Maker Park Radio NYC from 1 to 3. Thank you, Crystal. I, I, I couldn't hear you. No, <laughs> so really? I, I, no they, the, the microphone comes in and out. But um, do you guys still go to Mission Church of God? Yeah. Yes. You see that? That's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. God bless you. You guys have a great night. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Okay. Thank see you. you guys soon. Thank you for coming Bye. on. Where is this? <laughs> yeah, I think, can we see you, Roy? Oh, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, we can see you. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Bye, Roy. We'll see you guys Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. What energy? What energy? Yeah, she has. I told you she has a lot of energy since I met her. Well, what? I knew her first. Um, I've known her since I was six. I just want to let you know that. Yeah, but when you were six, I was. Um, you were. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, that was that was good. I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that you did. Um, so I'm just going to read off the local um, performances again, because maybe if the microphone went out for her, it went out for them. Thursday, August 4th at 7 o'clock, El Sombrero. That's in Rock Hill. Friday, August 5th, 6.30, Wurtsboro Music Series. Okay, that's outside. Bring a chair and a blanket. Uh, then Backyard Jazz at Hector's, Saturday, August 6th at 7 p.m. That's in Bethel. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Listen, listen. But anyway. Yeah. That's the show for today. That's I'm show. glad you enjoyed it. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us. On Tweet Talk. As, as always, love, peace, and harmony. Harmony. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.